All right, um, now we're going to talk about the critical value method for solving inequalities with a polynomial or oh, maybe a rational equation. Um, and so here goes. First off, you want to factor this. You've set it equal to zero like you would any polynomial. And we're going to factor it. And uh, if it does factor, or use quadratic formula, but this one factors. If you're not sure how to factor, uh, go check out another video and see, see how to do this and why this is true. So I know it factors in this way, x plus 4, x minus 1. So my critical values would be the roots of this equation, which would be negative 4 and positive 1. So if we graph that on a number line, there's 0, there's 1, there's negative 4. I'll put a few more points in there. And, uh, and we're ready to roll. So once we have our critical values, we, we know they're going to be open circles at 1 and negative 4 because of the less than. Uh, we can't include negative 4 or 1. And what we're going to do, for now we're going to look at critical areas. And so we're going to look to the left of negative 4, which I'll do here in black. We're going to look in the middle here region. And then we're going to look on the right side here in green. And we only just want to know where is it true in those three regions. The critical values kind of create our boundary line, boundary areas. And so we'll pick some values. We'll make a little table here. Um, we'll show our work. Uh, maybe give the, an answer and then tell whether it's true or false. So the equation in factored form, because I like dealing with that uh, more than the original, is this, and we, we're looking for values that are less than zero. We're looking for values that make this true. And so you look at the left region in black, and it, um, a number to the left of negative four would be negative five. So we'll just plug that in and see if it works. If it's true, then we know everything in that black region is true. Um, if it's false, we know it's we're done. So. Is that equal to zero? Well, that'd be negative one, and that'd be negative six. Negative one times negative six is positive six, which is uh, uh, not greater less than zero, and so this is false. In fact, six is greater than zero, so it's false in that region. So now let's look at the red region. So the red region, we have lots of numbers to choose from, but I would like to use zero because it makes the math just a little easier. So 0 plus 4, 0 minus 1, is that less than 0? Well, 0 plus 4 is 4, 0 minus 1 is negative 1, 4 times negative 1 is negative 4, and indeed, that is less than 0, and it's true. And so the last area to check is the green area to the right of 1, and I'm going to pick, be real imaginative, imaginative and pick 2. And so, and plug 2 in. So 2 plus 4, is that, uh, and uh, 2 minus 1, is that less than 0? Kind of, that's the question in all cases. And uh, so here we'd have 6 and uh, 1. 6 times 1 is 6. And again, that's greater than 0, so that's false. So we know our, uh, all the numbers between negative 4 and 1 make that true. And so, uh, there I have the answer written down in interval notation, but I'll explain that so that you can follow along. You might be kind of new to interval notation. So here's negative 4, here's 0, here's 1, not to scale. <laughs> it's an, so it's an open circle here at negative 4, and it's all the values between negative 4 and 1. So you could write that, that means it's an and, because if you go all the numbers to the left of negative 1 and all the numbers to the right of negative 4, sorry, positive 1 and negative 4, we want to eliminate you know, any numbers out here and any numbers out here. And the way you do that is with an AND because we're going to include only the places where it overlaps. So in this case, um, x could be less than 1 and x has to be greater than negative 4. So where that it occurs in both places where it's true in both places. And where it's true in both places is right in between negative 1 and 4. 
Again, with an AND, uh, if you want to write it with the X as a variable, you start with your smallest number, which is not 1 in this case. It would be negative 4. And you would go to X, and then you would end at 1. So negative 4 is less than X is less than 1. In interval notation, I had that already written down there, but they would be soft, uh, bra soft parentheses here, soft brackets. I don't know how you want to say that to help you remember. But we would start at negative 4 but not include it and go to 1. And so now we're ready for our next challenge, which is a rational equation. My goodness, what are we going to do with that? Well, the first thing you do, again, is get um, it set equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract 2 over to the left. And so when you do that, you'd have 3x plus 4 over x plus 1 minus 2 over 1 is less than or equal to 0. Now, here we want to, just like any rational equation, we want to get a common denominator. And our common denominator is x plus 1. So we got x plus 1 on the top and the bottom. And uh, so we'd have 3x plus 4 minus 2x minus 2 all over a denominator of x plus 1. Now here's a case where we do not want to cross out our denominator. If we do that, we lose some of our answer. And so leave the denominator in there because it's one of our critical values. And so you'd simplify the top and we'd have 3x, 3x minus 2x is 1x and 4 minus 2 is 2 positive. And so you have x plus 2 and x plus 1 less than or equal to 0. So that gives us, um, just to make sure there, so yeah, that gives us uh, our three regions to look at. We've got a critical value. We'll make us a number line so we can find these critical values. Here is 0. And we have a critical value at negative 1. And we have a critical value at negative 2. And I'll just keep going. This time, whoops, that would be a 4. This time, though, it's less than or equal to at both of our critical values. So we're going to have a solid we're going to fill it in. We're going to include those. We're going to have hard parentheses. We're going to have brackets. So same, you do the same method. You set up, you set up a table and just plug in values for the critical. Um, and we're looking for anything that is less than or equal to zero for x plus 2 over x plus 1. And so there we have it. Yep, that's right. And then whether it's true or false. If it's true, it's going to fit into our region. Okay, so we start with anything to the left. I'll start with negative 4. So you'd have negative 4 plus 2 over uh, negative 4 plus 1, which that's negative 2 over negative 3, which is greater than or equal to 0, which is actually greater than 0, because negative and negative is a positive. So this is false in that region. So we don't have to worry about it there. Um, I have the negative 3 there, and that's wrong. Jeez, my other critical value is negative 2. I wish somebody in the back of the room would have told me that, but there wasn't anybody in the back of the room. So your critical values are negative 2 and negative 1. I apologize for that. Um, and I'm not redoing this video. It'll have to be there with, the, this is the third time I've done it with a mistake. It's getting late. This is my last video for the night. And so now we look at, um, so now we look at the region. So we, we picked a region. We definitely hit everything over here, and it, it doesn't work to that side, to the left of negative 2. So now let's pick a value between negative 2 and negative 1. So negative 1.5. And so we'll plug that in, negative 1.5 plus 2 over negative 1.5 uh, plus 1. Kind of the beauty of this is um, you have a negative 0.5 on top, uh, yes, and a positive 0.5 on the bottom. 
Nope, negative 0.5 on the bottom. And positive 0.5 on the top. Shoosh, can't do my math. It is getting late. So 2 minus 1 and a half is positive 0.5. 1 minus 1 and a half is negative 0.5. A positive and a negative, that would be a negative 1, which is less than or equal to 0. So this is true in that region. And just to make sure, we better check that third region over there on the right. Um, and I, again, I'm going to pick 0. And so 0 is real easy. 0 plus 2 over 0 plus 1. That's 2 over 1. That's greater than zero, so that is again false. Doesn't, numbers to the right of that don't work. So again, we're looking for this area in between negative two and negative one. And so we're gonna deal with another and. And so um, you start with your smallest number, x in the middle, um, and it goes to negative one, and it's all numbers between negative one and negative two. And again, if you wanted to do a quick, there's 0, 1, 2, close circle, close circle. And uh, the key, though, again, get used to this. This would be a hard bracket. This is your interval notation. Starting at negative 2, finishing at negative 1, and including negative 1. And so there is your three ways to represent that answer. So kind of a long video with two really good, powerful examples. Uh, hope it helps. Sorry for the mistake in there. Again, this is my third attempt at the problem, at the two problems, with lots of little errors. So it means it's time to go to bed. If there's any questions, please ask. Please comment. Uh, tell me what's missing, what uh, in your mind, uh, what questions did you have. And uh, thanks for listening. Good luck. Hope this helps. And have a good one.